A family I know had an accident. In a very strange way, their five-year-old daughter Mia died. It happened in the evening. They had guests over. They were sitting in the kitchen, soulfully communicating, and Mia this time was playing in the next room with a doll. The child was panically afraid of the dark, even to fall asleep she could only in the light. As soon as the light was turned off, she would have a tantrum. So the parents knew she would never leave that room. The adults were talking, the child was playing, and suddenly there was a knock on the door. The mother opens the door, and there is no one there. Then the kitten, which had been given to Mia shortly before, hissed and began to lunge at the door. The kitten could not be calmed down and was thrown out of the apartment door to come to his senses. Some time passes, the guests and hosts decide to have tea and cake. Tea is poured, Mia is called. She doesn't answer. The father went to look for his daughter, goes into the room where she was playing, and there is no one there. He became wary, because a girl who is afraid of the dark is unlikely to go to other rooms. He looked in the bathroom and toilet, but she was not there either. He started running around the rooms in a panic, but he couldn't find her. Suddenly he saw some kind of bluish glow coming from the far room. He went in there and saw that the light was coming from under a table covered with a tablecloth all the way to the floor. He lifted the tablecloth and there lay dead Mia. As soon as he lifted the tablecloth, the glow went out. Anyway, there was an accident. A child accidentally hanged herself. There was a rope stretched between the legs of the table, but nobody knows where she got it, maybe from the balcony. This rope was wrapped around the child's neck. She was lying in an unnatural position, her arms and legs were twisted. Of course, it was a terrible tragedy for her parents. Her uncle came to the funeral. He slept in her room at night. And he had a very realistic dream, like he was lying on his bed, and then Mia comes to him, says hello and tells him what happened to her. I was playing in my room with my doll when someone knocked on the door. My mom opened it and there was a mustachioed man standing on the doorstep. Mommy didn't pay attention to him for some reason, but Tishka, our kitten, noticed him right away. He didn't like the man, so he attacked him, and mom kicked Tishka out the door. He called me by name, took me by the hand, offered to play and dragged me into a black room, or rather, a room without light, where I was found. I resisted, screamed, called my mom, but no one came to help me, neither my parents nor the guests heard me. He crawled under the table with me, took out a rope, and said we were going to play now. He wrapped it around my neck, put my head on his stomach, and started pressing. I lashed out at first, but he told me not to be afraid, that this was the way to do it. My uncle woke up in a state of shock. His heart started to fail and an ambulance was called. This case still does not give peace to relatives and friends. The position of the child's body was very unusual and looked little like suicide or an accident. Several years passed. A friend of the girl's parents met a strong medium and persuaded him to help summon Mia's spirit to find out what had happened to her. They succeeded. Mia confirmed through the medium that she was the one who then came to her uncle in a dream. She said that even now she does not know where she is, that it is dark around and she is alone. Sometimes this man comes to her and scolds or beats her and that there is another girl nearby, she often hears her but has never seen her. According to her, the mustachioed uncle forbids her to communicate with anyone. This is such a strange and scary story. I know the skeptics will say it can't be true. 
I myself would be happy if it were fiction. Everyone in this family is perfectly healthy and sane.